Hi, I'm Michael Dr. T. Tequila, and recently I had the privilege of talking to Dr. Elaine Cahalane, the CEO and co-founder of the Veterinary Specialty Hospital in Hong Kong, and she talked about a first. She was able to do a orthopedic surgery on a moon bear. Take a look. She's talking to us live from Hong Kong. It, it's a very unique situation she's in. She's um, she, she started, she's a co-founder and CEO of this facility that's listed as Hong Kong's only dedicated veterinary specialty and emergency hospital. So she's been able to do some wonderful things and the business is, is really booming and growing. But, but, growing but, but you also had the opportunity to actually do surgery on a bear. And let, let's hear about that. I did. It was awesome. So um, animal, Animals Asia is an organization that helps to rehabilitate moon bears, which is um, which are bears that are farmed in China, unfortunately, for their bile extraction. Um, and this has been going on for, you know, a very long time now. And it's uh, an inhumane practice where they are kept in tiny little cages and, and farmed for their bile. But because of Animals Asia, there being uh, a lot of these farms and a lot of these bears are being turned over to be rehabil rehabilitated. Great. And one one of their bears named Claudia, she's a 167 kilogram bear, about Whoa. 10 or 15 years old. Yep, big Multiply girl. That by 2.2 to get pounds, people. <laughs> yep, very big girl, very big girl. She she fractured her humerus, and oh, okay. so they sent me an email and the radiograph of her broken humerus, and I said absolutely, I'll come and fix it. And wow. the really cool thing was uh, not for Claudia, but that she actually has. An underlying condition that we see in some cocker in some spaniels, not just cocker spaniels, but Brittany spaniels as well. This incomplete ossification of the humeral condyle, which happens on both sides. So surgery number one was to fix the good side and prevent it from fracturing, and then I'll go back for surgery number two, which is to fix the sort of chronically broken humerus. But she's a, the sweetheart of a bear, and it's just such an amazing organization. It was a terrific experience. I was so honored to be able to help out. And how, how old is she right now? She's 10 or 15 years old, about that. Wow. Yeah, wow. That, which is young. They live to be about 30-something in their 30s. And, and what recovery time is six to eight weeks? or I know. See, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Um, or it turns out that there haven't been that many orthopedic surgeries in bears ever. And this is the first orthopedic surgery that we know of in a moon bear ever. So um, I will tell you this. Her bone was like a fire hydrant. It was the hardest bone I've ever <laughs> had. to. She broke, she broke my drill. She broke every instrument that I brought. It was so hard. And um, so... I, but they are very well muscled, and I expect that she'll heal, heal very, very quickly because of that muscle providing more blood supply, and um, they've got really, really strong muscle attachments. So I'm hoping that she heals really quick. But yeah, six to eight weeks. Oh, you get, yeah. did, did you doc? This is a paper. This is a scientific paper. Oh my paper God, absolutely. Yeah, it's a really terrific opportunity for science. I mean, this hasn't been documented. This hasn't been reported before in a bear, and... Um, it's just really, I mean, as far as exciting things in your life go, this was a, this was a real topper for me.